Hi there, uh, good to have you with us again. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Walk the Word, where we're seeking to read God's Word together, understand it, let it affect our lives in such a way that actually we, we're changed and we live it out in our day-to-day -day lives. And so um, we're in Mark 7 and we're just, this is going to be our, our last study in Mark for now. We're going to finish Mark today uh, uh, because we've been in it for a little while. We'll move on to something else um, the, for the rest of the week. And then later we'll come back to Mark and carry it on. Um, so Mark chapter 7, and we're reading from um, verse 14. And again, the passage is in the description box below this video. Uh, so do read along there. Really want to encourage you to read God's word with us or open your Bible and read it that way. So Mark chapter 7, verse 14, it says, Again, Jesus called uh, the crowd to him and said, Listen to me, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. After he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciple asked him about this parable. Are you so dull? He asked. Don't you see that nothing that enters a person from the outside can defile them? For it doesn't go into their heart, but into their stomach and then out of the body. In saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. He went on, what comes out of a person is what defiles them, for it is, it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come. Sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance and folly. All these evils come from inside and defile a person. And so this is a really big moment, OK, in the progression of kind of Israel's history and Christianity it's a really big moment because Jesus it says here Jesus declared all foods clean and up to this point that had been a big deal for the Israelites right you know one of their markers if you like of being the, Is uh, the Israelites was they ate differently to the rest of the world there were certain things they wouldn't eat because the uh, it was unclean it was considered unclean and so you know, we, we, we can thank God, we can thank Jesus for this moment where he declared all food unclean because it means I can tuck into my bacon sandwich without any uh, bad conscience, okay? Knowing that it's not going to do me any harm. I love a good bacon sandwich. Um, so we can thank Jesus for this moment. Um, but it's a big moment because Jesus is, is really changing and challenging how the Israelites thought, okay? He's really flipping things on their head. Um, because the, the thinking of the day was basically, you know, G Jesus says, doesn't he? Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. And and that really uh, t challenged the thinking of the day because, you know, they they lived under this sense of, well, you if you what you touch can make you unclean and what you put into your body can make you unclean. <coughs> that was the way they lived. OK, and so Jesus is really challenging that. It is a big moment for them. And he says, why? When the disciples, um, they question him, don't they? they say, well, what, what do you mean by this? He explains why that is. And it's all to do with the heart, isn't it? What we find is it says, um, Jesus says, uh, you know, nothing outside can, can uh, make you unclean, for it does not go into their heart. It doesn't go into their heart, but into their stomach and then passes out their body. He's given us a nice little biology lesson there. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Um, it, it doesn't go into the heart. What you put into your mouth doesn't go into your heart. In fact, even what you touch does not go into your heart. But then he goes on to say, for it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come. And he goes on to list a load of sins, doesn't he? Sexual immorality, adultery, theft, murder, all the rest of it, greed and all of that stuff. It's this 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 isn't stuff that comes into our hearts by the things we touch and the things we do and and the things we eat. This is stuff that is there already. This is stuff that comes out of our hearts in the way that we act and behave and think and our attitudes, the way we treat people. Yeah, so Jesus is, is turning things on their head. 
He's turning things literally inside out. He's turning things inside out. Things, it's not, the outside cannot come in and make you unclean. Rather, it's what's within and how you behave and what you do that will make you unclean. And this is a, a real challenge. This is a real provocation for the Jews, you know, because they'd live their lives full of this understanding that, that actually so much of their identity was, was tied up with this sense of, well, we're, we live different to the world because we have these external holy markers, if you like, that mark us out as different, you know, and holy among the nations. And it included the way we eat, the clothes that we wear, and, you know, the, the laws that we have and the things that we don't touch, you know, these external markers were all around them in, in Jewish life. And they were supposed to be a representation of the fact that they were God's chosen people and they were holy and different to the rest of the world. But what had happened is they'd they'd kind of carried on doing this external stuff. But internally, they were far from God, as we saw in the last passage, in the last session. Externally, they were ticking all the boxes and keeping all the things in place, but internally, their hearts had drifted and gone far from him. And actually, and so there was no point in just keeping going with the religion, with the ritual, with the markers externally, because he, just as um, just as uh, what outside cannot come in and defile, holiness isn't outside and then comes in and changes. You, you cannot be holy on the outside and then and and, and that make its way into your heart what needs to happen is there needs to be a total change of heart so that holiness, we're holy within. And then that, that changes how we behave on the outside. Do you get that? Do you follow that? And that's what Jesus came to do. That's what ultimately he had come to do. He, he, he was going <clears> to <throat> say, look, the, the external markers, it's, it's not enough. And it doesn't ultimately make you holy on the inside. What you need is a complete change of heart. You need changing from the inside out. And that's what he came to do through his cross as he died on the cross for our sin. And he rose again to life, defeating sin and death. And the Bible says we're raised with him. We become new creations which have new a new heart and new desires that now we, we want to please God. Jesus says, if you know, you will obey, if you love me, you will obey my commands. And so, again, it's, it's a heart issue. It's about loving God. And, and what Je through what Jesus has done, through, through the cross and his resurrection and his ascension and pouring out the Holy Spirit, is we've, we've got a new heart, new desires, which are now soft and sensitive to God. And, and we want to live for him, right? <laughs> or at least we should. We should want to live for him. So it's not about just keeping external markers in the hope that, well, I'm holy because I do this. And hoping that that holiness will work its way inside. No, God's done something in me. And now I desire to follow him and live for him and live a holy life. That's what Jesus came to do. You know, and it's it's a significant moment. He's turning things on its head. You know, he's, he's switching it from outside in thinking to inside out thinking. OK, so I just want to encourage you, you know, today, uh, Get, read this passage again and, and think about what's your heart like? Uh, are you living from the inside out, i.e. your heart to please God, or are you trying to live from the outside in? I do all this stuff in the hope that um, I'll be holy. Just a provocation for you today. God wants us to live inside out. Our heart's passionate to serve him and to love him and to do the right thing. So pray about it. Turn it into prayer and ask for the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit's help. And, and take it into your week and live for him this week. Okay, we'll see you again soon.